Welcome to the video tutorial for the September Kiss Solo. In this tutorial, I'll guide you through the process of creating a stunning clutch adorned with a beautiful array of floral embroideries. Our designs come complete with comprehensive photographed and written instructions. So for the best results, I recommend following both the instructions provided and this video tutorial. Before we dive in, let me remind you about the September Kiss Sew Along Facebook group. There you can discover a 30% discount code for this design and all the relevant competition details. I'll leave a link for that in the description of this video. If you find value in this video tutorial, remember to show your support by liking and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Enjoy the video. Alrighty, let's make panel one and panel two first before adding them to the zipper. Panel one. Hoop up cutaway stabilizer, load design onto your machine, and use applique scissors for trimming the fabric. Place batting one on top of the hoop and stitch down. Remove the hoop from your machine and trim the batting about one to two millimeters from the stitching. Then stitch the place and line for fabric A. Place fabric A on top of the hoop right side up, covering the place and line and stitch down. Remove the hoop from the machine and trim the fabric about 1 to 2 millimeters from the stitching, leaving the excess fabric in the seams. Then repeat the applique process with fabric B, C and D. Follow this picture diagram for your embroidery. After you have finished your embroidery, remove your work from the hoop and trim your seams about half an inch with your rotary cutter and ruler. Then hold your panel aside until you have completed the other one.
Now we're going to prepare the lining. Place your panels on top of lining 1 and lightly pin the panels to the lining and cut the lining to the same shape as the front panels. We need to find the center of our panels and their matching lining pieces. Use a pin as your mark. Now for the zipper hooping. Hoop up tearaway stabilizer and load design onto your machine. Stitch the place a line for the zipper. Place the zipper right side up centered on the line with the pull at the top of the hoop. The zipper will be too long but this can be trimmed later when you trim the seams. Then tape in place with washi tape. We also decided to tape the zipper pull in place so it didn't get in the way of the stitching. Now stitch the zipper for the stabilizer. Remove tape, but keep the zipper pull tape down. Then stitch the place and lines on either side of our zipper. This is an easier way to find the center of our hoop for panels 1 and 2 to be attached later. Move your zipper pull into the center. Trim both ends of the zipper 1 to 2 millimeters from the stitching. We're going to add fabric to the zipper ends. We used a piece of tape over the end to stop potential catching on the zipper teeth. Then stitch the place and line for the top zipper end. Then remove tape. Place fabric A on top of the hoop wrong side up with a quarter inch crossing over the edge of the zipper and the excess pointing towards the bottom of the hoop. Stitch in place. Then fold over the fabric, hold taut and stitch down. Trim fabric only 1 to 2 millimeters from the sides, leaving the rest in the seams. Repeat with the bottom zipper end using the remaining fabric A piece. We have also moved our zipper a little further towards the bottom of the hoop and move zipper pull to the left side of the hoop. Remove the hoop from your machine and flip the hoop over so the wrong side of the hoop is facing up. Then place a piece of lining 1 on top of the wrong side of the hoop, the wrong side up, with the top edge of the lining crossing the left hand zipper stitched down by a quarter inch and the excess pointing towards the right hand side of the hoop. Match up the center mark on the lining with the stitch on the stabilizer we made earlier. Then tape in place. Then slightly fold over the excess fabric and tape in place. This is so we can reinsert the hoop to the machine. Turn the hoop back right side up and return to the machine.
Place fabric B on top of the hoop wrong side up with the fabric crossing the right hand zipper stitched down by a quarter inch and the excess pointing towards the left hand side of the hoop. Stitching fabric B down is going to be done in two sections. This will prevent the zipper from getting in the way of the foot. First, we will stitch the top section down, then move the zipper pull to the section just stitched. Repeat the stitch down for the second half of fabric B. Remove the hoop from the machine and make sure that lining one is still secured out of the way. Fold over fabric B and stitch down. Trim the fabric 1 to 2 millimeters from the stitching, leaving the excess fabric in the seams. We'll now attach the panel 1 to fabric B using the stitch place line on the hoop and the pins previously used to mark the centers of the panels. Place panel 1 on top of the hoop with the wrong side up, with the center matching the place line stitch in step 4. The bordering stitching on panel 1 should be just to the right of the bordering stitching on fabric B. The excess of panel 1 should face the hoop's left side. Slow the machine down to the slowest setting and stitch down in between the two stitching lines, already stitched on the back of the panel. This will hide the seam stitching on the front of the block. Remove the hoop from the machine. Remove any tape from lining 1 and flip lining 1 and panel 1 over to the right side of the hoop. Secure to the right side of the hoop. We are now going to repeat the stitch down for the remaining lining 1 and fabric B for the left side of the zipper. Repeat steps 10 to 12 for the remaining piece of lining 1 and fabric B. Repeat step 13 to attach panel 2 to fabric B on the left side. Now remove the hoop and tear away all the tear away stabilizers.
All right, folks, let's finish off this clutch. Place your clutch on top of your workspace with the outside of the clutch facing up. Have both lining pieces face the left panel. To strengthen the seam between the panels and fabric B on the zipper and help the clutch stay flat, we're going to stitch along the fabric B and panel seam, making sure that the seam is pointing towards the zipper. Now edge stitch along the seam of fabric B, then repeat on the other side, remembering to move all the linings over. Now bring your two lining pieces right sides together and then the outside panels of the clutch right sides together. Use your ruler and pen to make a small line to make it easier to sew from the zipper to the lining pieces. This will help you stitch in the right area. Now pin right around your clutch, leaving an opening of about 6 inches, 15 centimeters at the bottom of the lining for turning. your sewing machine stitch just inside the border stitching on the panels.
and then went stitching on the lining side, then stitch a more generous seam about three quarters of an inch. This will reduce too much excess fabric in your lining when your clutch is finished. Remember to leave the gap. Now trim the edges to about quarter inch, but make sure you leave about half an inch where the opening is. Then clip the curves with your scissors. Now we will turn it right side out through the opening. If you didn't remove the tearaway stabilizer earlier, do that now. To close the opening in the lining, you can either hand stitch or top stitch it close with your sewing machine. After that, push your lining down into the clutch. You may need to use another pointy implement such as the pink thing or a chopstick to push out the top corners of the clutch. Give it one last final press and clean up and then your clutch is finished.
As you come to the end, you're all set to create your very own floral embroidered clutch through the September Kiss Sew Along. Just follow the steps and you've got this. For some added excitement and competition buzz, jump into our September Kiss Facebook group. If you found this tutorial helpful, a subscription would be greatly appreciated. Check out more stylish designs at sweepy.com. Enjoy your crafting journey.